fitness tutor viewing the best way to make money online and how complete beginners are making $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. So one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and make money online was I just wanted to have more freedom in my life. I wanted to go ahead and travel. I wanted to go ahead and help my mom and dad. I wanted to go help them pay off the mortgage, pay off the student loan debt, and not have to worry about working a nine to five job for the rest of my life. But little did I know that there is an easy way to make money online for complete beginners and a hard way. And what I did is I ended up doing the hard way. Here's an example of how I ended up doing the hard way, right? So years ago, I was like stuck in Thailand and I needed to go ahead and find a way to make money online. So I was literally realizing that, okay, in order for me to make money online, I need to build an audience and then I need to go ahead and sell that audience something. So I started making all these videos on like how to make $100 a day as a broke individual, right? Keyword, broke individual. And I remember I had this one video, it was called like, the top three ways to make $100 a day as a broke individual and still by far to this day, it is one of the most popular videos on this channel. And it blew up millions and millions and millions and millions of views. What else? A second video that I ended up doing. I made a video, it was called like, how to make $100 a day as a broke 15 year old. And guess what? Millions and millions and millions and millions of views of how to make money, how to make $100 a day as a broke uh, 15 year old, right? And as I got all of those millions of views, I realized that all those millions of views didn't really equate to a bunch of money or opportunity. It did pay me some because it did get a lot of attention, but it was the wrong attention. What was it? Broke 15 year olds and broke people that were individuals, right? So as I started making more of those content, I was always kind of stressed on wondering, okay, how come I have millions of views, but yet I'm not like rich, right? Like why, why is this the case? And I remember going to this event and this conversation that I had like with this big time investor in uh, this, this crazy industry, I ended up talking to him and asking him questions, right? Because I was like, here was I, someone that had like millions of views and he was this guy that didn't have a bunch of views, yet he was making millions of dollars. And what he told me, like I said, completely changed my mindset on how I thought about making money in line. And he said, well, Mike, so you make videos about broke individuals. And I'm like, yeah, you get millions of views. I'm like, yeah. What I do, Mike, and this is what he was saying, I write medium articles, right? I write medium articles uh, talking about what projects I'm getting into, why I'm getting into them, uh, the reasons the, why you should or why you shouldn't, and the pros and cons. And he told me that maybe like 14 people, 14 people read his medium articles on a monthly basis. Now think about this, millions of views, broke 15 year olds, broke individuals, 14 people that read his uh, medium articles. And then he kind of like leaned in closer and he was like, you know what, Mike, those 14 people that read my medium articles, their net worth is more than the millions of the people that watch those two videos combined. Their net worth, the 14 people that read his articles, their net worth combined is like way more than the millions of people that watch my content combined. And it makes you realize, well, okay, well, if you're just gonna go ahead and create content and you're gonna build an audience, would you rather go for the millions of people that don't have any money, or would you rather go for the 14 people that have the money and they're willing to go ahead and do the exact same thing? It doesn't take any more time. It doesn't take any more effort. In fact, it's actually a lot easier to go ahead and reach the people with money than it is for everyone else that's kind of like, for example, competing over the exact same you know, broke audience, right? And it's just a very interesting concept of picking your audience because you can literally do the exact same business model, but when you go to one, you're struggling, the other one, it's easy and making money is easy. Here's another example. So the other day, literally just yesterday, I got on a conversation with two people, right? One of the guys is literally in a close group of like all of like my mentors that I've met and then I started talking to him and I was like, wow, this is crazy. He made $50 million profit with an affiliate marketing business, okay? No, like, like no big team at all, just him, and literally just like partnerships. And I was, it, it really just spreads my mind and thinking, cause I'm just already thinking like, damn, like that much, even just putting in like an in index fund, you're, you're just set for the rest of your life. Like you're literally set for the rest of life. He didn't, he didn't do all these hard things that I was like doing, he didn't have to have to worry about all these things, but yet he was able to go out and do that, right? And then he had someone that was his apprentice and now is like his business partner, right? And he had a website, a website that only gets 1,500 unique visitors a month. Now, now imagine this, 1,500 unique visitors a month. So only 1,500 people are looking at this website 
that ranks on Google every single month, right? Now, he doesn't show his face on camera, he doesn't do all these things, just 1,500 people. That's really not that much uh, when you go ahead and think about it. For example, when I was like getting only 1,500 views a day, I think I was only making $7 a day. Imagine this, 1,500 views a day, I was only making $7 a day, right? 1,500 views a month for this guy pulls him in $170,000 a month. And it's been consistent over the past six months. Not showing his face on camera, not, 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 not doing any one of that stuff, just having a blog that only gets 1,500 unique visitors a month, 170 grand a month. So which one seems easier, right? 1,500 views a day, and you're only getting paid $7 a day, or 1,500 views a month, and he's getting paid $170,000 a month. Now you're probably wondering, what, what, what is the difference? What is the difference? One targets the broke individuals. One targets people that want to go ahead and look for gold opportunities. Gold opportunities. Now just think about that. With one click, with one click, he literally attracted somebody from the internet and that one click was worth $170,000 for someone to just click on a link, right? So when it comes to making money online, Probably the most important question to really ask yourself is who, who are you targeting? Who are you gonna go ahead and put this specific product, this offer, this service in front of? Because that is exactly what's gonna make or break if you're gonna do the exact same thing, if it's gonna be easier or harder. Another example, so imagine, let's, let's, take, let's take blogging, for example, because these people are killing it in blogging, right? So you have one blog that only gets 1,500 views a month, 170 grand a month, and then you have another blog that gets 300,000 views and visitors a month, and they only make about three to $5,000 a month. What's the difference? Literally, what's the difference? Okay, so the one blog, it's literally going and creating content, looking for people that are looking for gold opportunities. The other blog is literally just a mommy blog talking about, oh, the best crafts to go ahead and you know crochet and knit with, and they just recommend Amazon Affiliate Marketing Associates, right? So think about this, if I recommend, if I'm over here and I build a blog for mom saying, oh wow, these are the best candles, oh my God, oh I recommend these candles, and I go ahead and grab these same candles from, for example, Amazon, right? Amazon will pay me like, like 5%, 2% for, for a candle that's like, that, that, that maybe costs $10 to buy. So what is that, that that's like $2, that, that's not even a dollar. That's not even a dollar commission. I spent a lot of time creating content to go ahead and like try to sell this. And out of all the content that I go to create, someone finally, finally clicks on my link. And when they click on my link, they go ahead and buy this. They buy this for, like I said, $10, right? Say the commissions are only like 10% and that's like really good. That's like the top tier for Amazon. That's only a dollar commission. So all of that work for $1 commission. And that's why, you know, for example, hundreds and thousands of views for a mom blog, right? Only $3,000 to $5,000 a month profit, right? But then you have the gold blog. The gold blog reaches for people that have money and one click turns into $170,000 commission, right? What, what's the difference? They're both the same thing. They're both creating content. They're both talking about a thing. They're both reviewing a thing, but one's reviewing Someone that has a problem with smelling, or maybe their, their room smells like really bad, or maybe they ate some bad Mexican food and now it's just like disgusting and they need to light a candle. And the other one is talking about people that are looking for gold, like literally looking for gold. Obviously, which one is, it, it will make you more money, the one with the gold. Now, think about the action steps that they did to go ahead and do that. Well, it, it wasn't really that different. One, they both needed a blog, which we literally go ahead and teach you. Just go to mikevasile.com forward slash money blog. Two, they create content. Okay, well, what do they talk about content? Oh, let me talk about the best you know, candles. Oh, let me talk about the best ways to find gold. Oh, let me talk about you know, this like brand review. Oh, let me talk about this review. And before you know, they're literally the exact same thing. They're literally the exact same thing. They're both on WordPress. The only difference is one only needs 1,500 views and unique visitors a month, and that's paying them 170 grand a month. The other one needs hundreds and thousands of visitors a month, but that literally requires what? Like three to five grand? They make only three to five grand? Which is why when you are getting started, literally making money online, and you're like, oh man, you know, I saw this video, I'm so inspired, man. I'm like motivated, let's go, let's make money online. 
one of the biggest questions that you need to go ahead and pause for a second and just think is, who are the people that have the money that will literally buy this product or service? And how can I find and use affiliate marketing, finding other people's products and services to go ahead and sell it? Because then you could truly not only make money in line, but you could truly make passive income. Does that make sense? If you want us to hold your hand and you want the step-by-step -step detail on exactly how this guy turned one click into $170,000 in commission, then now another guy built a $15 million affiliate marketing business, then make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video on this podcast right here, and I'll see you guys later. Woo!